Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Noah Sanford here. Today we are sitting out on Lake Mead, uh, per usual. Um, and I'm sitting here and I wanted to take a couple minutes to go over uh, my top three baits for fall fishing so far this year. Um, specifically for desert lakes, right? I live in Southern Nevada, so we have Lake Mead uh, down at Willow Beach. We have Lake Mojave uh, a little bit further south. We've got Lake Havasu. So that kind of, you know, style of fishing in this, these desert clear water, deep water lakes. Um, this is in no way saying that these are the best baits for fall or that there aren't other baits that work. Um, these have just been the three biggest ones uh, for my personal use as well as guiding. Uh, if you guys don't know, I guide out here on Lake Mead and Mojave as well. So it's really important to have baits that work well. Obviously, if I'm gonna be guiding, I need to take people out and not only know where the fish are, but know what kind of baits to throw depending on the time of year. So this is just gonna be a quick breakdown of my favorite baits so far. Um, we're coming to the end of October, fall fishing is in full swing. Um, and so these have been my most critical and effective baits so far. So let's get started. Number one is gonna be finesse baits. Um, I'm not gonna get into super specifics here, but small baits with light line, right? Uh, you guys know I love throwing a drop shot rig. Um, Roboworm makes incredible baits, especially for these clear water reservoirs. Um, why I say that is because they have super life-like action. Um, they have a whole bunch of different colors. They literally probably have over 100 colors that you can pick from. Um, I really like the purples and pinks, as well as the greens and browns out here on these natural lakes. Uh, just have a handful of them here. Folks, Dad Special is awesome. Uh, Martin's Madness is a killer. Um, I like Aaron's Magic as well. Ton of great baits though from Roboworm. So I really like the four and a half inch straight tail and the six inch straight tail. Um, every once in a while I'll throw one of the fat worms as well. Um, but mostly just that standard straight tail works wonders out here. Um, especially this time of year. You know, when the sun gets up and it's still hotter in these afternoons, fishing those finesse baits deeper in that water column, 20, 30, 40 feet, it's a really effective way to catch these fish. Now, moving on, we're gonna go to top water. Um, there's a ton of different rabbit holes you could go down when it comes to top water fishing. There's thousands of baits out there. I'm not gonna get into specifics um, because we'll be here for an hour. But my biggest two players this time of year is a full size popper, right? So a two to four inch popper, a big one. Um, and then you're talking a small walking bait. So these are both about three inch baits right here. And you can tell, when you think of a walking bait, you usually think of a full size four or five inch spook, right? Or a sammy, something big. This time of year, these fish are up shallow when they're gonna hit top water and they're chasing little bait. So if you can throw a two or three inch popper or a small, emphasis on small, walking bait, those are what I've found to be most effective this time of year. Um, I think the biggest part is not actually the brand that you're throwing, it's how you work it. You wanna work these baits really, really fast, okay? The reason is these bass are up shallow, they're active, their metabolism is up, and they're chasing bait. So if you're working that bait nice and methodical, if you're working the spook nice and slow, giving it a nice slow action, I found that isn't that effective. Now it still works, but what I found is more effective is working that spook literally as fast as you can. If you guys have watched some of my previous videos the last couple weeks, you'll notice when I'm working that top water bait, that walking bait, I'm literally twitching that rod as fast as I can. That spook is just darting across the water. It's basically just flying across the water. Um, so half the time I'm working it so fast it's not really even walking, it's just skimming across the surface. That's a key element when you're fishing these topwater baits is to work them fast because it gets that fish active, gets them fired up, they'll come up and hit it. Um, same thing with the popper. I don't, uh, most, most of the year I like to pause my poppers when I'm, when I'm fishing them. I'll pop it, one, two, three, let it sit for a second. One, two, three, pop it again. This time of year I'm working them fast, so it's almost like I'm walking it. Um, basically, I'm working it just as fast as my top water, really twitching that thing across the surface. Um, if you have the right brand of popper, you can almost get them to where they're walking to. Um, but that open face just kind of gives it a little more of a splash rather than that walking action. So depending on how the fish are acting, I'll use one, one of those two. Um, now the third category that has been a killer this time of year, uh, especially on these clear water lakes, is little swim baits. Um, I'm not talking three, four, five inch swim baits. I'm talking smaller. So my favorite two so far have been the power bait. Uh, this is from Berkeley. Uh, what do they call this? The power swimmer. And that's in the 2.8 inch. And then obviously everyone loves Kai Tech, the Kai Tech 2.8 inch as well. Um, these two baits have been absolutely crucial. I like to throw them on just a little uh, Ned rig head, um, or you can get a really, really small swim bait head, but 
either of them work, I'm gonna go ahead and link all these baits, all my favorite ones for this time of year down in the description so you guys can check them out. Uh, but little swim baits, because they're chasing this little shad, this little bait, these little swim baits are a great way to imitate that bait. I like to throw it out there, usually let it sink, working it a little more methodically than these other two baits we've been talking about, and just kind of hopping it up and let it fall back down. Hopping it up, fall back down. And what that does is kind of imitates a bait fish that's kind of struggling a little bit, trying to come up for air, it's falling back down. Those bass will just come up and nail it. So those are my top three baits for October, guys, right? That slow, finesse fishing down deep once the sun gets up in the middle of the day, uh, early in the morning, late in the evening. I like to throw that top water, especially when they're up shallow chasing that bait. Um, and then those little swim baits do a great job of imitating a little struggling bait fish. And that tends to work all day long, morning, afternoon, evening. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I wanted to keep this video short, just give you a quick, brief overview of my top baits for October. Um, like I said, if you guys wanna check these baits out, they'll all be down in the description below. My name's Noah Sanford, and we'll see you on the next one.